What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kat for those of you who are new here. And for today's video, we are doing another installment in this crystal series. Today we are doing an April crystal haul. I will be showcasing some of the crystals that I got for the month of April. So if you guys are interested in crystals or if you guys are into hauls, then keep on watching. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and hit the notification bell as well so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm gonna start off with... Um, we are going to start with seven crystals and I was able to get this semi-raw um, chiastolite or chiastolite, chiastolite um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it but that is the stone this is what it looks like up close so it is semi-polished and then raw and then yeah polished on the other side as well so it's always known for that kind of cross detail now chiastolite is believed to be a stone of protection and meditation balances blood flow and also aids in depression so that is chiastolite this is what I got from Seven Crystal. And then next, I got um, some petrified wood from Crystal Trinkets. So I got two. This is the first one. Very beautiful pattern on this. And that one as well, that's the back. And then the second one is this one and this one is the back okay next door is crystal chasm um, I from them I got a moss agate skull so this is what it looks like up close and then I love how you can actually see the moss detail in it Next store that I want to talk about is Crystal Coal. It's my first time buying from them. And I was able to get some pyrite or fool's gold on April Fools. So they had a sale on April Fools. And I got this one, this big chunk, and two cubes um, of pyrite. I'll show you guys the chunk first. That is the pyrite. And then I also got two smaller cubes of pyrite. There you go. Next door is Tricrystal's PH. Tricrystal PH. I got this very cute um, bumblebee jasper. Um, I don't know if you could call it a palm or may maybe a tumble. No, it's not a tumble, but it's sort of like a mini palm. Um, yeah, again, I'm very fascinated with bumblebee jasper only because it kind of reminds me of bumblebee. So yeah, this is from Indonesia, from a volcano in Indonesia. And I love how the front has a bit of yellows and grays and whites. And then the back is totally gray and white. next store that I want to talk about is the Lustrous Siren and if you haven't seen my video with them included I will link it above maybe here or here from them I got these um, three little mushrooms so the first one being this is an ocean jasper mushroom mini mini mushroom And then the next one is what they call a starburst jasper. That is what it looks like. So it looks like mini fireworks. So this is a starburst, jas starburst jasper. And then the last one or last mini um, mushroom that I got from her is a fossilized coral. So this is what it looks like up close. I 
I also got a Spalarite tower. So this one is kind of like um, purple in color and it's got a load of druzies. So this is Spalarite. pockets there. Next, I also got this little or well, this mini ammonite um, fossil. So this is what it looks like up close. A very nice detail. So ammonites have been on this planet for thousands of years, maybe millions. But yeah, this is a fossilized ammonite. It's great for abundance as well. Next, I also got some moss agate tumbles like i said i'm very into moss agates and yeah so the first tumble looks like this so this is more of like more whites than greens and then the next one is a green moss kind of design but it's back it's got a spot of white so this is the other one. This is moss agate. And this is the back. I really found this kind of cute. Unique design. Crystals, they never have like a the same look. Um, usually if something resonates with you, then you go ahead and get it. I also picked up this Tiffany stone from her. It's a Tiffany tumble. Tiffany tumble. I think um, some people also call this opalized fluorite. I also got this gorgeous piece of fluorite slab. So it's polished on both sides, but the sides, others, um, its sides, like here, are raw. So I guess you could say it's semi-polished. So this is what it looks like. This is a fluorite slab. gorgeous piece of fluorite. So if you can see, it's got purples, blues. Last but not least, what I got from her shop is this beautiful, uh, this beautiful spider web jasper cube. Oh, this is a spider web jasper. And it's almost like, it's actually kind of like my fluorite, the one I mentioned, uh, the one I showed in my last video, I think. Um, but it, one of its corners has a dent, so it could actually stand on its side like that. So yeah, this is a spider web jasper. Its design is very, its pattern is very unique. That is what it looks like. Next is the Crystal Witch. Um, again, I also got an opalized fluorite or um, Tiffany stone. This is partly raw on the back. So this is what it looks like. Right, and then this is the back. So it's raw. It's only polished on one side. Then I also got Ocean Jasper. So I got an Ocean Jasper um, Worry Stone. And the Worry Stone is said to alleviate stress by rubbing your thumb on the dip that it has. So it usually has, um, a, sh usually has a dip here. He was kind enough to give me this freebie is also an ocean jasper. Also, this ocean jasper bracelet. Uh, that is 
what eh. okay focus okay that is what it looks like up close Another store that I want to talk about is Moonchild Chakras. First off, I got this um, selenite slab. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is kind of clear. You can see my hand through it. See. So what differs? So selenite and satin square usually get interchanged, but this is what selenite actually looks like. Okay, this is what it actually looks like. Now, satin spar is called such because of its texture, which kind of looks um, satiny. Um, but both are both have the same um, properties, and they're both from the same family, which is the gypsum family. Um, so is alabaster and the desert rose. Um, I I think I have. I might have one in another video, but yeah, um, selenite, satin spar, desert rose, and alabaster are all part of the gypsum family. So this is um, selenite, and I also got this beautiful citrine tower. Now, I'm not sure if I will be able to catch it on camera, but this, this clear, uh, this citrine actually has a beautiful rainbow on the top. I just don't know if the camera will be able to pick up on it. But yeah, that is my citrine. And then I also got this Picasso Jasper Tower. So this is what it looks like up close. The next store is called La Lune Crystals and they are an Iloilo based um, crystal shop. First off, I got this Iolite bracelet. This is what it looks like. Sorry. This is what it looks like. This is Iolite. I'll probably show a better um, close up in the next clip. But yeah, this is Iolite. I also got um, some skulls from her. Uh, this is a moss agate skull. Now this is all totally green with a tinge of red at the back or at the top of the head, uh, back of the head. So this is moss agate. Also got another moss agate skull, moss agate skull from her. So this is what it looks like. I also got this Caribbean calcite um, skull. Okay, next door that I want to talk about is not really or not exactly crystal related but one of my crystal friends um, this is from studio El Derez all the way from Baguio 
Now they also have a, another company called Montevaggio which um, specializes in teas or like, yeah, teas. So I love their um, strawberry basil one. You guys should try that out. So yeah, Montevaggio and Studio Elderes. So from them, I got this beautiful um, dancing Shiva. So this is the Dancing Shiva. Look at how intricate the design is. Craftsmanship. And this is the back. Oops. This is the back. Also got these beautiful clay beads. Well, they're brace it's a bracelet, but these are clay, made out of clay. And this is what it looks like up close. Super nice. You guys should check out um, his store. He also <laughs> runs it with his son, Ruan. So, hello. <laughs> thank you guys so much. So, Ru, thank you for my dancing shiva and my clay beads next up we have the happy crystal and this package is very dear and very special to me um, she was able to send over um, some ocean jasper so the first um, skull is this one this is an ocean jasper now, I don't have any Ocean Jasper in my um, collection, so super pretty. Next one is this other Ocean Jasper. This is what it looks like. Got a little um, hole there, but that's it's all good. It's pretty cute. And she also gifted me a baggie of um, Labradorite uh, chips. So this is what it is. So yeah, thank you so much for this special gift. I also want to talk about another store that I've recently come across. This is um, Tita Crystals. So it's run by Tita Christie. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, a ocean jasper heart, although it kind of looks like a petrified wood, but she did say that it was ocean jasper. This is what it looks like up close. Now the thing I love about Ocean Jasper is they all have very unique characteristics. I love this crack here and the natural pockets and the holes. I also picked up this Ocean Jasper tower. So like I said, some will have orbs. Um, so it's a distinct feature um, that will Say it is an ocean jasper and some will look like this very subtle but very beautiful um, I also picked up this beautiful flower agate it's pink in color, that's why I was so drawn to it, it's so different. Usually, it's very faint pink, but this is what it looks like up close. So there you go, that is my flower agate from Kita Crystals.
And then last but not least, we are talking about Isintholate pH. So again, I was able to grab a couple pieces from her shop. And let's start off with this pyrite bracelet. I also picked up some worry stones um, during her live sale. One is an ocean jasper worry stone. Again, you can see the dip. Very unique when it comes to ocean jasper. And then I also got this bloodstone. And then this beautiful moss agate. Now this one kind of looks like a flower agate, but I picked it up because it's very unique. I'll show you what it looks like up close, but this is actually a moss agate. So either way, they're both stunning. So if I zoom in, I mean if I try to do a close-up on the pattern, that is actually that is actually moss. Okay, so there you guys have it. That is it for my April crystal haul. I will be sure to link the IG handles of the shops that I mentioned in this video down below so you guys could give them a follow. And yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and the notification bell as well so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. So you guys, I am going to see you in my next one. Bye!